Hi, I'm James, and thanks for joining me on this video today. If you're watching this video, you're watching because you're curious about Spike and the integration of Survey123. One of the things that I'm really proud about with Spike and Survey123 is that we finally built a workflow from end to end that is specifically designed for that novice user. And that's something that's really important. It's important because there's so many people out there that could be collecting data that aren't because getting access to data, setting up a project is too expensive, too time consuming, uh, too difficult to manage. And with Esri Survey123 and Spike, we make all of those things easy. So take a moment with me, let's show you online. So for this demo today, I've chosen to use an iPad Air 2. If you've done a little bit of research, you know that we work with both iOS and Android devices. Uh, the iOS device is of course connected to uh, my Spike, and that's on the back of my device here. And then from the apps that we need, we need of course the Spike app and the Survey123 app for Survey123 for ArcGIS. So I'm going to start there, and I'm going to tap on Survey123 for ArcGIS, and you can see here that I just, we've just put together a very simple uh, survey. I go and then choose Collect, and when I do that, that loads my survey, and you can see on this survey where I've loaded a series of questions related to collection of data with a spike, and because I've done that, you'll notice this little spike icon here, and when I select that icon, that is what tells Survey123 to launch the Spike app and to start the data collection. When I'm doing data collection, I can do just very simple, straightforward things such as measure distance to an object, measure the area of the object, length of the object, and so on. That's just the way that we've chosen to set up this form, but you can actually ask multiple questions such as measure the distance and the area of an object so that you can collect all that data from a single photo. But for the purposes of the demo today, we've chosen to just keep it simple and straightforward. So, what I'm going to do is, is that I am going to touch on the Spike app. So what I've chosen to do is measure the distance to an object. And you'll see here on screen that I have a distance to a target. And as I move it around, that distance changes. So it just makes it simple and easy to be able to capture distance to a target. So I just simply point it at the target for which I want to measure. I take the photo. Survey123 uh, then captures that distance to target. Now you'll notice that this is in meters, though uh, that's how we've set up this, this form. And the photo uh, with, uh, the, with the target has been captured within the photo here as well. Now if I want to measure the area of an object, I simply touch on the spike icon again. Once again, Survey123 launches spike. I point it at the target for which I want to measure. Spike then opens up into an alignment phase, and so that is to correct for the angle for which I'm taking this photo. And so essentially what we're going to do is going to take my finger and put it on each one of these green sink circles, find a natural occurring rectangle, and as you can see here as the grid gives you an idea, we now adjust it to set the scale, essentially rectifying the image. You'll also notice that as I put my finger in each one of these little green circles, that this little window pops up in the upper right or left hand corner opposite of whichever side that I'm working on to help me really zoom in on that target. I can also zoom in uh, just by pinching and dragging as you can see here. So once I'm done with that alignment, I just go ahead and I hit next. And then what happens is, is that I choose my measurement tools, which have opened up here, area and length. I'm going to choose area, so I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to drag it and drop it uh, across the image. And then that goes and gives me my measurements. I can always go in and refine this a little bit by taking advantage of those little zoom in boxes there as you see here. Just to make sure that everything lines up nice and even. As you can see here on the image, it does. When I'm done with that, I go ahead and I hit save that then saves the measurement as well as a, the measurements are embossed within the photo as you see here on the form. And there's my area, the number of dimensions, and each width and length that I've collected. And what's really nice is, is that with the measurements embossed within the photo, for the first time we have an authoritative content that goes into uh, these forms because for the first time you can actually see where these measurements come from. You couldn't do that before. 
And that's something that's really special about the solution that we've, that we've built with, with Spike, is, is that for the first time, you can see these measurements and know where these measurements come from and know where these locations come from. Because if you think about it, many times in the past, you've had to have complete trust in what your field data collector was, was seeing, was measuring, and reporting. And now you can visually see where those measurements are coming from. When you're done, you simply just scroll down to the bottom, hit check to say that you're complete, the survey is complete. You then send later or send right away, and then you've just updated your geodatabase using Spike and Survey123. Nice, simple, easy. Uh, specifically designed for the novice user to be able to mobilize more people in your workplace to go out and collect data. Thanks for watching.